To know whether you're kill toned or warm toned, look at the veins on your wrist. If they look blue, it means you're kill toned. If they look greenish, it means you're warm toned. If you want larger, subtle eyes, apply your first coat of mascara and then on your second coat, only apply it on your upper outer lashes. If you're applying eye makeup and you mess up, simply take a Q-tip, dip it into a little bit of moisturizer and wipe off and you're good to go. When you wake up in the morning to cleanse your face, remember to splash your face with cold water for about 10 seconds so the sweat allows new blood to flow to your face which is really great for your skin. And after taking a warm flannel or a warm facial sponge, press your complexion so the sweat opens up your pores ready to absorb maximum moisturizer. If you have dry chap lips, take your old toothbrush, put a little bit of Vaseline on it and exfoliate the dead skin cells off your lips. If you have a long face, only apply blush on the apples of your cheeks. Do not fan out to your temples. Whereas if you have a wide face, fan upwards. Your eyebrows frame your entire face. If you want a slimmer face, then arch your eyebrows. And if you want to look younger, then have them thicker. If you want to look younger while applying blush, apply it higher to give yourself a facelift. Apply moisturizer while your face is still moist or damp from cleansing or toning. So this way it locks in the moisture better. If you have close set eyes, emphasize eye makeup in your outer edges. And if you have wide set eyes, then emphasize less on the outer edges. Emphasize more in your inner corner, such as applying eyeliner. For remove fine lines, use a light reflecting concealer, and this will reflect light away from your lines. If you want filler lips, apply your lip gloss and downward motions to give a 3D effect. Forgotten your blush? Use your lipstick instead. And use your fingertips to apply in the color. Forgot your foundation? Mix some of your mineral powder into your moisturizer. To fix the tear in your nail, simply snip a little segment off a tea bag, layer it over your nail, and apply clear nail varnish, and you're saved. If you're like me, where you tend to get acne on one side of your face, it's probably your phone, so remember to clean your phone frequently and change your pillowcases. If you have dark circles, cut two slices of kiwi and layer it over your eyes. It also soothes and decreases puffiness as well. Use a large powder puff to buff your face after applying makeup so this way it doesn't look too shiny or too powdery. To make your nail varnish last longer, buff them first or dip them in the vinegar so the nail varnish will adhere better. If your eyes look tired, take a white eyeliner pencil and rim your waterline and if this looks too harsh, use a skin colored eyeliner pencil instead. My favorite is to apply chilled natural yogurt on my face for about 10 to 30 minutes. It soothes, refreshes, absorbs excess oil, fights bacteria, and helps the pores look smaller. It solves any skin problem. So I like to keep eye drops handy in my handbag, not just for dry eyes, but in case of spot emergency. It treats spots, reduces swelling, and also redness. When there are days when your skin looks dull, apply lotion with pink undertones to give yourself instant radiance. Apply on your cheekbones to make your eyes and your cheekbones stand out. Eggs are fantastic treatments for the skin. Mix the egg white so it's frothy and apply to your skin to tighten your pores and absorb excess oil. The egg yolk is a fantastic face softener and a great hair conditioner. Olive oil is not only a fantastic makeup remover but also fantastic for the skin. It's anti-aging and mega soothing and softening. It is a great hair conditioner and repairs weekends. You can also dip your nails into olive oil for about 10 minutes for stronger, shinier nails. Pollution can affect our skin, especially if you work in an office, near fax machines and paints. So having a plant such as a cactus in your office or bedroom will help to soak up toxins and help your skin. Remember to exfoliate twice a week to remove dead skin cells so this way your moisturizer will absorb better and your masks will work better. When your makeup is looking a little bit too cakey, just spray on some water on your face. Press your skin to remove the cakiness. Wearing rosier lipstick will make your teeth appear whiter.